Welcome to the Halloween Spooktacular Special. Let's go! On today's vlog, we are celebrating Halloween! I put on my best $1 Halloween shirt for you, and we are going to do all of the Halloween things to get us in the spirit. So, come along with me and let's have a spooky time! Not really, because I don't like scary things. <laughs> and let's take off this lipstick. I have a question. Why do I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of Halloween socks and a pair of Halloween gloves when Halloween is only one day a year? <laughs> okay, luckily I'm filming this video today, so I'm gonna wear at least two pairs of my Halloween socks this year. Let's pick one. I know why. Because they're so stinking cute. <laughs> I mean, come on. Who doesn't love a good pair of Halloween socks? Adorable. All right, now that we are fully outfitted for the season, it's time to get the festivities started. We gotta decorate this house, you guys. I was just on my way to grab the decorations and I just want to tell you guys, Spencer and I are disgusting. Do you guys want to know when I made these brownies? I made them yesterday. Yesterday. Oh my. Okay, let's go get those decorations and ignore this parrot with the Santa hat on. <laughs> One. Much lighter. Da, 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 da. I think I need to fix this guy. He's seen better days. But wait, there's more, I think. <laughs> Aha! Okay, I think that's all of it. I just checked and I think the other stuff is Thanksgiving decorations. I mean, it could be for fall, but might as well switch it up for Thanksgiving. Also, Half of this is also Thanksgiving decoration, so don't think I'm too crazy having two boxes of Halloween. Although, if you think I'm crazy, that's ridiculous, because holiday decorations are fun. Okay, it's time to put these suckers up. Let's decorate. Speed style. Tell me how you close it to ya. Tell me how i do it, babe. I just want to make you feel we do a Ah, all right. Found one of my favorite Halloween decorations. This little guy. I got this guy from the Target dollar spot years ago, and I just think that he's hilarious. I don't usually go for spooky Halloween decor, but look at this face. Is he spooky? No, he's great. He's great. I used to feel bad for putting him outside, but... Spencer says he likes it out there. And he can wave to all the people. Okay, now it's time to, uh, oh gosh. It's time to figure out this mess and make it look like decorations. Just tell me how I'll do it, babe. I love it when you whisper in my ear. Words only meant for me to hear. Promise that your secret's safe with me. You're the only reason, yes, you're the only reason. Baby, you're the answer to my prayers. Feeling like the world is in our hands. Now I know that this is meant to be. I'm stuck. I need, the problem with these shelves, well, with my decor, is that every single thing is like the same height. I need like some taller things and some shorter things. Hmm, how to make this work? Aha! Uh -huh. I think I figured it out. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with this. You're the only reason and now for the finishing touches. The candy. Well, not much color variance here, but it's pretty cute. And let's be honest, races are delicious, my favorite. The house is looking great and 
Halloween festive. Also, the kitchen is looking good. And I just wanted to show you guys, I just switched it out for this spoon holder, but check out this adorable spoon holder. I think you actually call it a spoon rest, but I just thought that this was the cutest little thing and I got it from the Dollar Tree. So it was just a dollar. So cute. So I'm just listening to Broadway radio and working on a little project. It's kind of fun because Wicked keeps coming on, which I feel is totally in the Halloween spirit. So I've been singing along to a lot of Glinda and Elphaba. But yeah, now I'm just working on this project, making a little game to play later with Spencer. Also, I think this jack-o'-lantern face kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, and it was a total accident. Alrighty, we are going on a little field trip now. So my sister gave me this Halloween coupon and I thought it would be fun to go use as part of our Halloween day. It's a free gift with any purchase at Bath and Body Works. So I say we go get something festive and Halloween-y. Okay, we're going in. So many choices. This is what I'm going with, I think. All right, success. I ended up doing something a little bit different than what I thought I was gonna get because the hand soap didn't qualify. Darn. <laughs> so, I got... <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Aha! <laughs> The candle that I was thinking about getting in the first place, I should smell it again without my mask on because I was trying to smell it in store, but obviously I was wearing my mask and I think I smelled it. Mmm, oh yeah, that's good. Very fruity, a little bit of citrus. So this isn't very folly, but I thought it was a scent that both Spencer and I would like. And then here's my Halloween treat. <laughs> I got this as my free item. It's a uh, sweater weather, which I love that scent. And I'm thinking maybe I can use it as a room spray. I don't really like do body sprays, so I don't know. I feel like it could be fine to just like spritz in the air. That's my plan. Okay, we're back. Man, this day is going by so fast. I feel like I can barely keep up. We have so much Halloweening to do. Okay, so the next thing that I have on the docket for today, ooh, it's bright, apple cider. I'm hoping I'm gonna make the whole house smell like delicious cinnamon mold cider. That's the goal. Okay, so I kind of had a recipe that that I'm also just kind of making this up. We are going to put in some apple cider. Cinnamon? Ooh, ooh, that was the spoon side, not the sprinkle side. <laughs> Allspice. This is very old. Hopefully it still tastes good. These cloves. A vanilla bean. And it's such a great fresh nutmeg. And I remember I had these nutmegs that I got off eBay years ago. Hopefully they're still good. Oh. What is wrong with me? I have a perfectly good spoon rest and instead I use this napkin. Oh boy. But we have all the spices, everything going in there, so we're just gonna wait for this to heat up and then it's gonna go for one hour. And hopefully it will make the house smell delicious. I'm just having a brownie here. Nothing to look at. Don't worry, I switched to an apple. And speaking of apples, we have another thing to do here in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. I just realized apple, apple, apple. So yeah, every year we go to a Puyallup Fair, except this year because of COVID. And Spencer tells me how much he wants a caramel apple. Like he loves caramel apples, but they're like $8. $8 for an apple? Are you kidding me? So. I was like, I'm going to surprise him and make him a caramel apple, although I think he already knows. And I wonder if he would want to do it with me. Maybe I should just ask him. Guess what? He said yes! <laughs> I'm concerned that there is no best buy date on this package. 
Yeah, also, I'm concerned that I don't know where that came from. <laughs> We're working on the caramel, and now I have my first chance to use the candy thermometer that Spencer got me. <laughs> Look at how big this is. <laughs> it's so big, and it's gonna go in this little tiny bowl. Do you see what I mean here? Do you see how big this is? It looks perfect to me. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. No, I guess I am complaining. I'm sorry, babe. It's like you're on the Great British Baking Show or something, babe. No, Keep think, watching that oven. I don't think they use caramel mixes in this show. Shh, don't tell them that. This was totally from scratch. And it wouldn't be a Halloween celebration without dancing to my favorite Halloween song. The Monster Mash. No. Uh, so when I was a dance teacher, I played this song for every single class for like every warm up. Oh, is this every song day. from Glee? He knows. Are you ready, babe? <laughs> a commercial. I'm so excited. Man, we really danced it out. I'm I'm out of breath. Oh, nice, babe. You're killing it. It's working. It's working. Oh my gosh, it looks real. <sighs> okay, babe. It wouldn't be Halloween without a costume challenge. Yes, as the saying goes. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so here are the rules. I just made them up. We have 90 seconds to run upstairs to the costume closet, pick out something, and make a costume. Okay. Okay? Okay. If you're like, the costume closet, what? Um, this is my costume closet. <laughs> I don't know, what else was I going to put in this cabinet up here? One minute and 20 seconds. Start okay, babe. Now. Go! Go! There he goes. Wow, with 10 seconds to spare. Yes. Wait, babe, do you have your costume? Yeah, wait, just a second. Okay. Pause the video. Okay. I present to you Eugene Levy at the 2020 Emmy Award show. <laughs> the guy from Schitt's Creek. Yep, they won like all the Emmys for comedy. So. Nice. Well, why do you only have one? Well, we only have one in my costume closet. <laughs> <laughs> nice, babe. Good work. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ready? One minute and 20 seconds. Starting now. Now! Go! Okay. Run! That's your 10 second warning. Four, three, two, one. Time's up, time's up. Okay, here she, here she comes. You're a, a snow lady. <laughs> no, oh. Thomas, I'm Olaf at Disneyland. Oh, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, like a, a female Olaf. Yeah, I try my best. Da da, da da. Do 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 in summer. In summer. Good work, babe. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Mr. Emmy winner, are you ready for one more game? It's so great to be working on the show with my family, my beautiful. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a tip. If you wait until after Halloween, you can go. We go to Carpenter Brothers, and they have pumpkins like. 
big giant ones for one dollar and the little baby ones for decoration are 25 cents so that's what I always do um, we like doing it I think I can't talk or the things will fall off my face but I thought that we better decorate some pumpkins so I made a little game for us oh look pumpkins yeah I made them and I also made these face pieces. So we're going to choose our faces and then we're going to play pin the face on the jack o' lantern. Oh, are we going to blindfold ourselves? Yeah. This seems totally safe with a stove right next to the. Yeah, what could go wrong? Yeah. Then you cut the scene and it's like. Ah! How do we do this? Just. <laughs> It actually works really well because it's got like a spot for your nose. Like usually with a face mask, you kind of see down, but I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> you look like Gonzo. Okay, so do you want the eyes first? Yes. Wait, maybe you shouldn't feel your here. <laughs> I think it's fine. Next piece, please. Here you go. This is the nose. Okay. And the mouth. I feel like that was pretty successful. Can I, can I look? Oh! I kind of like it. He's like looking off to the side a little bit like, ooh. He's much scarier than I pictured him to be. He's kind of like 3D though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the eyes are like sticking out of his head. I like it. Here, we'll show the people what you've made. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, here we Can go. Can we move it after? Oh, it doesn't have to say it. Okay, you ready? Here's <laughs> your blindfold. Oh, wait. What? Like How did you put this on? Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Like that? Yeah. It's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> this is my eyes. Yeah. Okay, here's your eye. Uh, they're the same. Here's another eye. Oh, wait, okay. Here's, oh, I did. It's great, yeah, I like it. So far, you're like right on track. The eyes are right where you would think they would be. Okay, well, like right there. Good. Yeah, you're you're actually really close. I'm I'm a sitting on a really bad job. I think you're just, lying. <laughs> no, it's it's really good. Okay. All right, ready to go ahead and take your blindfold off. See what you've made. Is it beautiful? It's beautiful. We did, we did our fun game, babe. In true Halloween fashion, we've been eating candy all day. Well, brownies. So now we're going to have a sensible dinner of cider and cheese. The dinner of champions. Oh, what did you do? No. <laughs> I put these in to keep them warm. <laughs> They've exploded. They're warm. They're I think we are going to drink some delicious cider, which I definitely had to water down because I reduced it way too much, and eat these cheese puddles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to say I have been having such a fun time filming all these. It's like one of the highlights of my week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it too, and it's bringing a little extra joy to your week. If you had fun celebrating Halloween with us today, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun each week to come. Happy Halloween, everyone! Bye! I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds. Salad now. Little something for the day. Trick or treat! <laughs> Trick or treat! It's a Sonic ice cream blast trick or treat. Oh. As if we didn't have enough sugar today. Yeah!